Hey guys, uh, today I just wanted to do a quick video on optimizing your DNS or domain name server which is set automatically by your ISP. Um, you can see here this is roughly you know, a rough diagram of how the DNS works. Your computer looks for the website in text. It tries to find the IP address um, by querying the DNS which you know goes through a resolver and goes through a bunch of servers and gets back to you with the IP of that that uh, website. Um, so normally if it's cached it'll be quick or you know, as long as there's no issues and no congestion and your internet speed isn't too slow, um, it'll be quick. But if there's a problem with your DNS and you're on fast internet, like me, I'm on PLDT 50 Mbps fiber. Um, if there's a problem with your DNS, it'll look like it's loading and nothing will be appearing, like nothing will be progressively loading on your screen and it'll just suddenly pop up. Or you'll hit refresh, like it won't load the first time or it'll be really slow loading and you'll hit refresh and it'll just instantly load. Um, and it can look a lot like congestion, which is what I thought I had for a while, um, until I realized that it was a, I had my, my adapter had been reset and the DNS that I'd optimized was gone. Um, and it reminded, it prompted me to do this video because of how annoying it is. And I saw someone post on Facebook, they were having a problem and blah, blah, blah. Um, so basically what you want to do to optimize your DNS is go to google.com or whatever your, your search engine is, but um, I'm using Google and this is the first result. So you can see grc.com is where you want to go. And it's basically a tool that has a, it connects to a database and basically pings all the, all the DNS uh, domain name servers in, in the database and finds the fastest ones for you. So obviously everyone's in a different location, everyone's got different um, ISPs. This will work for everyone. So um, you can, everyone's gonna have a different uh, DNS that'll be closer to them or work better for them. So you can't take my results and replicate them. You've got to run this tool yourself and find your own. So download it and you can see I've already downloaded it here. It's just a .exe. Um, and yeah, just double click to run it. And the first time, um, you can see it's got a few default um, servers servers loaded in. But what you want to do is you want to create your own list of custom servers. And it's got a database of something like 4,800 domain name servers. And you want to click here, add, remove, and build custom name server list. And so this will go through, um, you can see here, 4,849 and it'll it'll find the fastest 50. So then you'll have a you know a consolidated list of all the fast uh, domains name servers for your location and after you've got that list this um, building the list actually takes a good 30 minutes or so so you want to make sure no one's using your internet or preferably no one like it's okay if someone's you know on a mobile phone it's fine but preferably minimal usage of your internet, let this run. And then after it's already run, you'll end up with a list like this one. Um, this is just a stock list, but anyway, just for demonstrating. And after you've built this, this massive list that takes 30 minutes, um, you don't have to do it again. It's just a one-off. It'll create a config file next to the exe. And so you don't have to worry um, about doing it every time you run the tool. And you, you probably want to run this tool like once every few months uh, or if you notice because um, the, the DNS performance can change. So run the tool and it'll come up with a list like this. Normally you won't have to delete dead name servers or redirecting servers because your list should all be active servers. And then you run benchmark which benches those top 50. So when you run benchmark it'll do this and it sorts them by cached performance. So usually cached is what everyone is visiting in your local area um, from your ISP, but uncached and .com are also very important because not every website is cached, especially if you're doing research through Google and you're clicking, you know, the links that maybe no one in your area has visited. Um, you want to have a balance where the response time for all of these is decent. So you can also sort it here by uncached, which is what I use. So you know, even though this has got like, for example, these, the ones on the screen, even though the uncached is good for these, you can see that here it's got really bad .com response to the Cloudflare one. So obviously you don't want to set that. And you, you basically, yeah, you just want to 
find the two best ones that you like um, and what I mean by like is you can look at the owner of the server and if it looks dodgy I mean none of these should be dodgy because it's through DNS bench and basically they've all been screened already um, they're global DNS servers but find the ones that you want to go with that you trust or that you feel will be the most stable like for me I've got my backup secondary because you set two you set a primary and a secondary I've got my secondaries google.com because they're pretty reliable um, but my main one is actually PLDT but it's not the same as whatever it's using automatically because this one works um, and doesn't have problems loading Facebook. So run the benchmark and wait for the results in response time. Sort it how you want. You might prefer cached because you know if, if it's just the same stuff you're visiting all the time, like if you just only browse Facebook, cached is probably fine. Um, but just look for the ones that have the most balance. So even if you sort by cached, you can see that rather than having this one up here that's got decent cached, but um really high uncached and or this one that's got high.com you can see that the Google one's actually a nicer balance um, it's got really fast.com and so yeah um, that's the rough explanation pick the best ones pick the the, the best balance um, I, pr I recommend uncached and com but yeah you can you can choose whichever ones you want and once you've set changed it it'll highlight them in bold the two that you've got set so you can see I've got these two here so to change it in case you don't know is you go to your network adapter in the bottom right next to your clock right click it go to open in network and internet settings pop up like this this is on Windows 10 and change adapter options you can see here it's got my my internet and then right click it go to properties go to IPv4 and go to properties or just double click it and you'll see here it'll have normally it'll be on obtain DNS automatically and you just want to put it to manual punch in your numbers of whatever whatever DNS you've chosen so you can kind of set it like that to make it easy and put them in click validate on exit and click OK and after you've done that hopefully if you've had issues loading certain websites or you've had the refresh issue where refreshing fixes the website for some reason um, Hopefully this will help. So, yeah, anyway, um, that's it. And thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully this helps you all out. And, yeah, like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. See ya.